In my video on how to fix soundbar delay, I suggest you to change your TV setting from auto to PCM. I got a lot of comments on what is PCM audio. So let's get started. PCM stands for Pulse Code Modulation. The TV could be receiving audio signals from input devices such as Blu-ray players, game consoles and setup boxes. Or the TV could be sending audio signals to output devices such as speakers, soundbars and headphones. First, let's look at input audio setting options for the TV. PCM only applies to the input audio devices that are connected using HDMI cable. If your input device has already processed the sound, you want to hear the sound directly from your TV speakers only, then select PCM option. When selecting PCM input, the TV changes the signal to 2.0 PCM that means if you then connect the TV to your sound system that is capable of multi-channeling audio, it would only receive two-channel sound. In other words, don't select PCM input option if you are planning to connect your TV to the sound system with more than two channels. When selecting PCM, your TV won't need to process the audio then you will get a better quality audio through your TV's speakers. Now, what is the best option if you're connecting your TV to an output device such as a soundbar or a home theater system? As a rule of thumb, don't select PCM to an output device that has got more than two channels, for example, 5.1 channels. PCM is uncompressed signal, therefore the signal needs to be compressed into Dolby Digital or DTS first. That is why I said in my video on how to fix soundbar delay that if you are getting sound delays, use PCM because then the TV doesn't need to compress the signal before sending it to your soundbar and hence no delays. However, as many people commented, it is useless if you're connecting to a sound system with more than two speakers. Also, if you're watching a program on TV that doesn't support Dolby Digital or DTS, then selecting PCM could give you a better audio quality when connecting to a soundbar. I tried both PCM and Auto and couldn't notice much of a difference for my own system. But based on the comments from other users, you might notice big improvements in your audio quality by using PCM. So why not give it a try? Tip: After changing the settings on your TV or audio device, make sure to turn off and turn on the TV and the audio device to ensure changes to apply. I have to emphasize that selecting PCM is absolutely fine for soundbar. But if you got a system that's more complicated than a soundbar and a subwoofer, then selecting auto might give you a better results. I hope this video helps you to understand what PCM actually is. You can learn more about TV and sound system by watching the videos in here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe.